Now, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation Detectives today questioned and recorded statements from nominated National Assembly member David Olesankok and family members over their interactions with the MP's son, Memusi Sankok, who died by suicide on Monday. Now, the detective spent the better part of the day at Sankok's home and at a hotel in Narok, retracing Memusi's final steps by questioning family members and workers. Chemutai Goin begins our bulletin tonight with that report. As the family of nominated MP David Ole Sankok comes to terms with the death of their second born son Memusi Sankok by suicide on Monday, <laughs> leaders continued pouring into their home to console the family. Detectives from the Criminal Investigation Department spent the better part of the day recording statements from family members and staff at Osim Lodge who interacted with the 15-year-old prior to the unfortunate incident. Some of the questions the detectives are seeking answers to include how the boy got access to keys to the safety box where the gun was stored and what could have led the young boy to take his life. His elder sister Rosemary Sankok, an engineering student at the Multimedia University, recounted events leading to the discovery of the body of the young man who was alone at home at the time of the incident. When the incident happened, uh, I and my father were, we were at Osim. There were some CCTVs that were being installed. When, when I came in, so I gave I gave the escort to my small brother. I told him to look for me and in the house because I was packing to go back to school. And then, um, and, and then he, my, my brother went to that room. He found, he found the he, found, he saw what he saw. Then he came. He told me to come and see it. My sister asked him, what, "What is it?" He said, I, "I can't tell you. You come and see it yourself." And then I went and saw. And then I told my mom. Rosemary says they were gone for less than 10 minutes and on returning found their brother's lifeless body. We didn't hear anything. I didn't, I, we, were, we, were not there. we were not at the house. The, by the time we came back, we just there was nobody in the house at the, at the time. It was only the most we left him because we, we went to pick fruits so that he can carry them to school. Yeah. It was okay. He was, he was okay when we left. We, had, we were from talking. He was okay. She disputes reports that Memosi took his life following an argument with his father over failure to return to school. Not he was, he was, he was being talked to. She says she had also talked him into going back to school. Asking him um, about, about school, yeah, if he was okay going back, he said yes, he wanted to go back. Tuna sihi, wale wanao tumia mitandao, mambo mengine tusiafanya msaha, usiingie pale katika mtandao ukaandike jambo ambalo si la kweli ni vizuri kuambia uma ya kwamba ukitaka maneno ya kweli ni lazima yatoke katika kamati yetu 15 year old Memosi Sankok shot himself Monday afternoon detectives are still piecing together information they have gathered to unravel how and what led to the miner taking his life Chemutai going citizen tv